I would like another story. This one is about Sammy the Seagull Lover. You see, Sammy, he was an interesting type. He loved seagulls. One day he decided to marry one. He got a ring and put it around its beak. Then, because the seagull couldn't open its mouth, it died of starvation. Sammy, the poor man, he was distraught. He couldn't, he couldn't live. Then he saw another seagull. He went up to that one, expressed his love for the beast, proposed to it, got down on its level. He bent down on all fours, really went up close, and it just pecked out the poor bastard's eyes. Sammy never saw any seagulls again, nor anything. He never loved, he never dared to dream again. And that one, his name is Jeffrey Bannerheim. <laughs> He's actually a Norse god, so I wouldn't mess with him. He likes, um, pecking eyes out. I've heard. In fact, long rumors. Sammy the seagull lover, he was the one of his victims. True story. Allow me to tell you the story of my uncle, Pigeon Poopenheimer. You see, Pigeon Poopenheimer was not only the best uncle I've ever had, but he was the pinnacle of uncles everywhere. In fact, he was head of the Pigeon Uncle Club, which is very exclusive. You could only be let in if you were A, a pigeon, and B, an uncle. As you can see, this was quite revolutionary for the time of 1826, but I feel he really got across the message he was wanting to get across, until one day, someone grew jealous of his leadership of this great group. They feared that one day he may become a dictator with all the power that he now owned over the Uncle Pigeons. And so, one day, they gave him some Panadol. The Pigeon. Oh, it was messy. The messiest Pigeon mess I've ever seen. And believe me, I've seen many Pigeon messes. He bloated. His feathers expanding, growing, it's growing and expanding, and more adjectives I've already used, until one day. I can't talk about the rest, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Allow me to tell you the story of Chocolate McGinty. He's my long, 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 long gone grandfather. And he invented chocolate. He was so proud of his invention that he named it after himself. At first it was just called McGinty, but then he changed it to chocolate. You see, he was exploring in the Amazonian rainforest one day when he came across the cacao bean, not to be confused with the cocoa bean which is used in the manufacturing of cocaine. So, he saw this brown bean, took it home and he ate it. Unfortunately, the raw cacao bean when ingested killed him. His son, Chocolate McGinty Jr., took this bean, mashed it up, added some butter, and it still killed him because he did not use gloves. His child, Chocolate McGinty Jr. Jr., happened to be wandering around the countryside when he came across his grandfather's notebook. In the pages, he saw a diagram of the bean He found where to find it. And he saw a secret recipe, which he had not tried yet, how to make chocolate. He went to the Amazonian jungle. He found the bean, mashed it up, added butter, put a bit of sugar in it. Also added a touch of cinnamon. He gave this to many people, many, many people, and each of them, they all loved it. So when he finally got the courage to try it himself, he died, because the McGinty line has an allergy to chocolate, and all of the things that they'd eaten previously would have actually been okay had other people eaten them. End. What did you think of the story? I feel like I've become a better person because it's definitely helped me understand one of my great loves which is chocolate and all the sacrifices that have gone into it so thank you.
Jay's story time. So, it's a good. Say we go to 7 Eleven, eh? Then there's. A. He's 19. A. A. I already went a. to 7 Eleven. We'll That's how you know there's a 7 Eleven there. Yeah, wanna go? Y'all wanna go? Wanna go? Y'all wanna go? I'm coming no. along. Oh. I got my Sprite. I don't need nothing more. No, I don't drink soft drinks. Well, you drink Slurpees instead? Nope. You just want to get some water? Nope. You just want to go? I want to get drinks. What drinks? I'll choose when I get them. So like a fruit drink? Yes. Yeah. No, it means I have to get up and that's effort. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yay! Wanna go to 7 Eleven? It'll be an adventure! We need Let me take my jacket off and then I'll be with you. Yay! Yay! I took a jacket and he's taking off a jacket. Ugh. Eat the Maltesers, damn it. Oh, nom 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 nom. Eat more. Eat it, bitch. Eat it! No! Yeah, I wanna go to 7 Eleven, I'm thirsty. Yay! I I'm lost my name. I'm the, same, I'm the same height. <laughs> as well. That was pretty fabulous. You're probably the same height as me. Bitch, I'm good with that. The main road pharmacy. Oh my god.